on ice. Next up, Corey Butner of the USA, Jesse Beck and Johnny Quinn. Nick Taylor are the crew of US3. A couple of different guys in Nick Cunningham's team from last week. There's our leaders. Martin Gallagher, nice to see you smile, Martin. You weren't yeah. doing that a couple days ago. Right, on, so, you know, he's smiling now because it's all done. Yeah. So Corey Putner had a great season so far. Two man bobsled. Yeah. 486, a good improvement from their first run push. 400 is better. That means everybody should be getting better. And they've got that, that 66 velocity over 66 3. kilometers an hour. The reference that we will use as we get down into the metals. Whoa, there's trouble there. Yeah, there's high line in four. He's going to be late here. High line in corner four. Lost a lot of pressure. He's going to lose speed on his way down the track because of that mistake. Just don't see four-man sleds doing that. Yeah, Whistler's a bit of an anomaly. Oh, same thing. Same mistake. Same mistake. That's two for two. Okay. Oh, one down. And somebody ejected, so he's automatically yeah. disqualified. That's right. the on the back. Boy, I think his coaches should tell him to stay in the sled. I think he panicked to get out. I hope he's okay. The sled almost came back up. May well be that he just couldn't hang on. If he lost his grip with one hand, he has so much force he's acting on you four or five times your own body weight. Okay, somebody should around. grab him. They should grab him. This is with a, you know, he's hurt. Yeah. Could cost you can so see also how far the number two athlete yeah. is out of the sled. If you, you the, the handles inside are just tiny little bent bits of metal that you have to hold on to, and if you haven't, yeah. You know, four or five times your body weight trying to haul you out when you're upside down, hanging off the top of a corner. Yeah, I still think, though, somebody's got to tell him, Nikki, did you eject? Yeah. Did you get thrown out? If you didn't, then you should probably want to stay in there. And a lot of times they're not anticipating that type of an event. The, yeah. the pressure actually pulls them out of the back of the sled. He's okay. giving a thumbs yeah. up. The coaches, Brian Scheimer, Mike Kahn, can only look on. And this is a mirror of the Belgian sled. It's a, there's a bump there, almost looks like, Helen, that I don't know. We didn't yeah, see that, that in the first run. No, that, tra that transition from 9 to 10 is really tricky in a four-man because of the weight of the sled. There's more weight higher up in the four-man because of all the, the people in it. Jesse Beckham in the back. He's up. There's Corey Butner, Nikki Taylor. Well, you know, in a motorcycle crash, they say kick away from the bike. Get as far away from the fast machinery. But here you just... You want to be down deep inside it if you can. Remember, his first mistake started. So this, sorry, John, this is the same issue. He's too high in corner nine. The sled comes out too early. He's too tight to the right wall, and the pressure just picks the sled up and rolls it into corner ten. It, it, like you said, it's identical to the Belgian crash. But the Belgian didn't have the problem that Butner did up above, I think, in Looter's Loop, where the nose of the sled yeah. got away from him. I think he, he started up there. He got behind. Yeah. And that mistake carried all the way down to where he crashed. Well, that image of the, the sled climbing was actually not in Luder's Loop. It was in corner four, so he's even higher on the is. track. Here it is. What happens? It gets the, away from him. Yeah, he, he releases the pressure too soon, and the sled just climbs way too high. There's three corners on this track that that can happen. Whistler's a bit strange. You can see how high the athletes are sitting he, up. Jumps into it. corner five. Yeah. Pushed away. Late, late, and finally yep. got him. 